Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, we are gonna make the timer run in the background. For creating the background timer, we are gonna use alarms. We will need to have two functions, one for setting the alarm and one for removing it. We are gonna create these functions inside the timer activity, but not right inside it, but rather in a companion object. That's because functions for setting alarm and removing alarm don't have a lot to do with the actual timer activity or with the instance of the timer activity. They have something to do with the timer, but they don't need to access anything which is inside the instance of the timer activity. Another thing is that we will be calling these functions for setting the alarm and removing the alarm from other classes as well. That's why it's nice to have them in a companion object, that way we can just specify the class name and not an instance of the class. So fun set alarm, parameters are going to be context, now seconds, which is the current time expressed in seconds rather than in milliseconds, it's going to be long and also seconds remaining which is also long. This function will return long and let's create a val wake up time which will be equal to now seconds plus seconds remaining so it's in the future and we will be using this wake up time to set alarms. Alarms use milliseconds and not seconds so we need to multiply this by 1000. Then val alarm manager is equal to context dot get system service the name is context alarm service and we want to get it as alarm manager now we want to create an intent which specifies what is going to be opened after the alarm goes off so val intent is equal to intent we want to pass in context and right here we want to specify a broadcast receiver Broadcast receivers are app components just like activities or fragments. They can subscribe to certain events and then an unreceive function inside the broadcast receiver will be called. That's exactly what we want to do here. We want to call the onReceive function inside the broadcast receiver whenever the alarm finishes. So let's create a timer expired receiver. Right click on the first package. We want to create a new other and broadcast receiver. It's gonna be called timer expired receiver and it's not going to be exported because only our app is going to be able to call it. For now we are gonna leave it as it is but later in this tutorial we are gonna come back to it. And inside set alarm we want to specify timer expired receiver to columns and class.java. Now we want to create a pending intent and we want to call get broadcast on pending intent class. So pending intent dot get broadcast context is context request code will be zero. The intent is the intent which we created here. So just intent and a flags will be just zero. Then we want to set the alarm. So alarm manager dot set exact. Now the type is alarm manager dot RTC wake up because we want to be able to wake up the device if it's in sleep. Trigger at millis is wake up time and the pending intent is just pending intent. Now we want to remember the time at which the alarm was set. For that we need to create a preference. So let's get to our trusty previewTil class and let's create a private const val alarm set time id and we want to create a function get alarm set time. It's gonna accept a context and it will return long. Inside it we want to get preferences. So val preferences is equal to preference manager dot get default trader preferences and the context is context and we want to return preferences dot get long alarm set time id and if the value for alarm set time id is not there we want to return zero and set alarm set time it will accept a time which is long and also a context it won't return anything and we want to get editor so val editor is equal to preference manager dot get default trader preferences for context and we want to get the editor so edit. Now editor dot put long add the key of alarm set time id and the long is time. And now we just want to apply the changes in the editor so editor dot apply. Now let's get back to timer activity and here we want to set alarm set time inside previewTil. And we want to specify the precise time when the alarm was set. Actually, it doesn't need to be that precise. We don't need to specify milliseconds. We will do just fine with seconds. But for that, we need to be able to get the current time. So let's create an immutable property. Now seconds. 
and it's gonna be of type long and it's gonna have a getter and it will return calendar dot get instance and we wanna get time in millis and divide it by 1000 and now we wanna set alarm set time to be now seconds and we also wanna pass in a context and then the set alarm function is gonna return the wake up time so return wake up time we also wanna have a function for removing the alarm it will need to have a context and we again wanna create an intent so intent we wanna pass in a context and the class is timer expired receiver java class so class.java we can just copy the line with pending intent and paste it here and we also want to get an alarm manager so just copy this and paste it as well and now we want to call alarm manager dot cancel and we want to pass in the pending intent just make sure that the request codes inside these pending intents are the same and now we want to call previewtil dot set alarm set time to be zero and context in our code zero for set alarm set time means that the alarm is not set all right now let's go to on resume and here we have a to-do comment, remove background timer and hide notification. Well, we are gonna remove background timer in this tutorial so we can remove this from the to-do. And notifications are for the next part, so stay tuned. So let's just remove alarm. And context is this. Inside the onPass function, in addition to canceling the timer here, we also wanna create a while wake up time. And we wanna set it equal to set alarm, which returns wake up time. Context is this now seconds which is the immutable property and also we want to specify seconds remaining so in this part we are starting a background timer here so we can remove this and showing notification is for the next part that's also why we have the wake up time specified in here we are gonna pass it to the notification so that the user can know at which time the timer finishes now let's go to init timer and here we want to change seconds remaining according to where the background timer stopped so let's do just that val alarm set time we will get the alarm set time from previewtil so is equal to previewtil dot get alarm set time and context is this and if alarm set time is greater than zero and as you may remember if alarm set time is greater than zero in our application it means that the alarm is actually set if alarm set time is zero the alarm is not set so if alarm is set we want to write seconds remaining minus equals now seconds minus alarm set time here we are getting the time in seconds for which the timer was running in the background then we are subtracting this time from seconds remaining the value of seconds remaining is from before the background timer was started that's why we need to subtract from them the time for which the timer was running in the background and we will no longer just resume where we left off but if seconds remaining is less or equal to zero the timer finished so we want to call on timer finished this will be called when the timer finished in the background in which case after this subtraction seconds remaining will be less than zero and this will be just else if if seconds remaining are greater than zero we just want to start the timer as before and now let's go to the timer expired receiver remove all of this and we will show a notification here the notification will say that the timer finished other than that we want to set timer state so previewtil dot set timer state and when the timer finishes so when the timer expires it's gonna be stopped so timer state dot stopped and also pass in the context and when the timer expires the alarm is no longer set so we want to set alarm set time and when the timer is not set alarm set time is gonna be equal to zero and that's it now let's test if everything works on the emulator so we have a timer over here and when we start it yeah the seconds are going down and let's go to the home screen it was at 53 seconds so now it should be somewhere around 45 maybe so let's get back to the app and it's at 42 so 40 39 38 37 36 35 34 probably 33 oh no i'm counting too slow let's wait until it's at somewhere around five seconds now let's go home screen so five seconds wait for around five seconds and let's get back to the app 
And when we come back, everything is reset to the initial state, so we know it works. So that's all there is for this tutorial. In the next part, we are gonna create notifications and we will also control the timer from these notifications. If you don't want to miss that part, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so you can be notified about my new videos. If this tutorial helped you with creating a background timer in Android, please give this video a like and also share it. If you wanna get the code written in this tutorial, go to the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions, follow me on social media, and see you in the next video.